Hello again everyone, I'm Kevin KevinKVMC and today you're joining me on another episode on Da Vinci's Love. So essentially now, I'm gonna be reacting to somebody's comment on my video on 60fps fam3 style. So essentially, he requested me to make this video and I am making this video because obviously, I want people to know how to actually do synthetic 60fps. So now I'm actually opening this Da Vinci's Love. And yeah, so since I'm waiting for this thing to open, it's a bit slow now because I'm recording in OPS. And sorry for the sides, I mean the right and the bottom side being slightly cropped out because I don't know, I don't really know why. Obviously, I'm not really that, that smart in OPS because I'm quite new to that software, so yeah. Uh, it's actually it's gonna be open any anytime soon, and it should be right now. There you go. So we're now into the menu thing when you first go into Da Vinci, and so now you can actually see Untitled Project. So now, what you wanna do now is go on to Untitled Project, then left click it. So left click it. And then right click on project settings. Then you're gonna see like timeline, fr frame rate, play by frame rate, and video format. Change all of those three to 60 FPS. So, like timeline frame rate goes 60 FPS, play by frame rate 60 FPS, and that video format. At 60 FPS, just don't choose Tiny i60 because Tiny i60 is essentially like some kind of odd form of 1080p, which is not really interlaced that well. And I also do advise that when you editing 60 FPS on a weak machine, just try lower the timeline resolution to like uh wait wait, I actually do something around. So, something times 256 pixels i forgot exactly how many pixels i usually do use so 256 is the minimum of the features of so essentially change it if you want but then you have to change it back before you actually finish editing i mean before you actually export because it's gonna export in that rubbish resolution so it's not gonna be 1080p60 but it's gonna be less than 1080p60 unless you change it okay there you go so just doing i mean just ch checking and just save click on save then click on under the project double click it and then now we're in okay so now go into file wait, wait. Oh, oh files up there okay if there's file now Go to import file, import media, then go select the file you wanna use. So my file is in drive E, and this file I shot in like December or January, I forgot exactly when, but it's around that time frame, so it's quite recent. And it's gonna be shot in, and it was shot in 29.970 FPS from the Fahrenheit standard, so just wait for it. Let's go find the file. Um. Uh. Which file should I pick? I think I'm gonna go choose this long range C lapse thing. That's when I went 2.3 kilometers out. So, just click that. Open, yeah. Now click do not change on this thing. Or else it's gonna, it's gonna go back to like 6 I mean 30 fps see you can see on the metadata that I am on 29.970 fps now it's taking quite long cause obviously I'm recording on OPS and not just working like standard so okay there you go and now this is not 60 fps yet but now you wanna click on the clip Oh yeah, wait. I mean, just, just see 
that now time and frame it's locked so you can rechange it so that's why I had you guys change that thing first like before you actually put the clip in so next just go click on the clip the timeline go inspector there you go now just go down like essentially scroll down a little bit till you find retime and scaling then on retime process go click on optical flow and then your clip in the timeline should turn blue and then uh that should be ready for 60 fps so essentially do your edits right now i personally would usually edit in 30 fps export then take the exported footage and turn it into 60 fps because that saved me quite a lot of time and quite a lot of headaches like waiting for the system to load in anything so now let's go down to the export tab sorry you can't really see it because it's quite cropped in by OBS so let's go down change this thing to MP4 and H264 because that's what I usually export in and then on audio I don't usually do anything at all on audio so especially because this has nothing to do with songs and stuff so it's only on 60 fps right now and you can't really change it if you didn't do what I said in the start it's gonna be locked in 24 fps and only show 24 and 30 fps and even if you do go on 30 fps it'll say like some kind of error of yeah cause you determine 60 fps I mean 24 fps in the start so it's actually that actually ends my tutorial or like more like yeah how to video on how to achieve 60 fps on DaVinci Resolve synthetically so this will work on any camera not only the family standard but any camera even if you only have 24 fps you can actually extend that 24 fps to like 48 fps just don't go over the boundaries like from 30 fps to 120 fps cost on one very few monitors will actually support that frame rate and number two why because i mean like it's always number one screw your video because it's gonna be working really hard to actually make synthetic frames and a lot of artifacting can actually happen in the process and then essentially yeah nobody's gonna actually watch that stuff and so that ends my tutorial today thank you for watching everyone please subscribe and goodbye